Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Our theme for today is the power of gratitude. The power of gratitude. Many people are not grateful to God, so their life is full of crisis. Your greatness is tied to how grateful you are to the Most High God. The power of gratitude is the quality of being thankful so as to influence one's behavior, actions, and thoughts in your favor. And today we'll be looking at being thankful to God to enable him to act more in your favor. We are thankful to God to make him move and say, yes, you have thanked me, therefore I will do more for you. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18, we read, in every situation, no matter what the circumstances are, be thankful and continually give thanks to God, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. In everything, you and I should give thanks to God. In everything, gratitude is what we give back to the giver. When someone gives you a gift, what do you say to them? Thank you. God, the giver of all things, have given us life, given us strength, given us good health, given us vitality, and made provisions for us in spite of all the challenges in the world. A man's ultimate attitude shall be determined by his level of gratitude to God. Thank you for the previous is what qualifies you for the next blessing. God must be acknowledged for his merciful acts towards you. Otherwise, it will turn into a curse. In Malachi chapter 2, verses 1 to 3, we read, And now, O priest, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear and give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you. And I will curse your blessing. Yes, I have cursed them already because you do not take it to heart. Behold, I will rebuke your descendants and spread refuse on your faces. People get into all manner of trials when they take God for granted. Many times we think temptations and trials are from the devil. Most trials and temptations are not from the devil but from a lack of thanksgiving and gratitude to God. When things are not working in our lives and things are not going the way we want them to go, the first thing we think of is, oh well, Satan has come to attack me again. But in most cases, it is not the devil. Because when you don't appreciate God, things will turn upside down. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Many people run into crisis, difficulties, challenges, and problems in their lives because of ingratitude to God. Just like you have been complaining, you have been saying to yourself, throughout this pandemic, what have I achieved? You have been saying to yourself, what is there to thank God for? I'm going to show you something in Mark chapter 6. As close as Peter James and John were to Jesus Christ. There was a time in their ministry where they could not say thank you to Jesus, for they considered not the miracle of the loaves, for their heart was hardened. These three guys are what we refer to in theology as the inner cycle of Jesus' companions. They saw the miracle of the feeding of 5,000. They saw Jesus performing the miracle, yet they did not believe. They did not consider the miracle. As a result, they ran into the biggest challenge, the biggest crisis in their lives. Friends, you and I need to be thankful of the fact that God has kept us during this pandemic. Over a hundred thousand people have died during this pandemic. 
we are not better than them, but it is only by the grace of God, by the mercies of God, by the protection of God, that we are still alive. Therefore, we have to be thankful and show gratitude to God. The dangerous form of complaining is the one that takes place in our heart. You may not say to people, but you have always been complaining about everything. The Bible says that their heart was hardened. That is Peter, James and John, the chief apostles. They were very close to Jesus. In spite of everything they saw, still their heart was hardened with ingratitude. The moment you perceive, the moment you realize that things are not working in your life, don't blame the devil or anyone else. Look at yourself and ask yourself these questions. Where is it in my life that I haven't been grateful to God for? Where is it in my life that I haven't shown gratitude to God for? Never get to the point in your life where you think that all the good things happening to you is as a result of your ingenuity, your might, strength and power. For by strength shall no man prevail. Never take God for granted. Otherwise, you will be grounded. Stop complaining because complaining complicates issues. Be appreciative to God. Be thankful to God. It is so unfortunate that so many of us have received many blessings from God, but our ability to appreciate and thank Him seems to decline. Friends, may I encourage you to find ways to express your gratitude to God. Be grateful to God verbally. Say to God, thank you, God, because I know that you are the one who have kept me alive up until this point. Be grateful to God privately. Get into your room and get on your knees and say to God, Father, I thank you. I thank you for all your mercies. I thank you for your blessings upon my life and upon my family. And do it often, not just at Christmas or at Easter. Be thankful to God throughout the year and let gratitude to God become part of your lifestyle. Be grateful to God generously. Go the extra mile to honor God in thanksgiving with your possessions. Be thankful to God that you are able to sleep. There are people who don't sleep. There are people who with all the money in the world, they still can't sleep. So thank God. Show gratitude to God that you are able to sleep like a baby. Not everybody that saw the beginning saw the end, not because of what they did, but God has brought you and I up until this moment. You went to bed last night and woke up this morning because God sustained you. It isn't your alarm clock that woke you up. It was God that sustained you. Friends, be grateful to God cheerfully and thoughtfully. Sit down for a moment. Don't think about your life. Go before God with no prayer agenda. But sit for a moment and say to God, Ah, God, I thank you. God, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my children. I thank you for my wife. I thank you for my husband. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for my colleagues. I thank you for all the things that you have provided for me. Be thankful to God and that will expand your capacity to receive more from him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together. And we thank you for teaching us about what it means to show gratitude to you. And so we pray and thank you for all the things that you have provided for us. Help us to live a life of gratitude to you Help us to thank you continually and appreciate what you do for us in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.